Welcome to War Thunder Naval. I am Commander Tyrael. This is a Project 183, NATO designation P-6, a motor torpedo boat of Soviet origin. It was developed in the 1950s to complement the older and smaller torpedo boat designs used at the time. These motor torpedo boats were used in large numbers from shore bases and were intended to intercept incoming enemy frigates and destroyers. The P-6 class was widely used by Soviet forces during the early decades of the Cold War, but became obsolete as fast missile-armed attack craft came to the fore. In fact, the hull of the Project 183 was the basis for the first missile boat in the world, later used in the Komar class, which carried anti-ship missiles instead of torpedoes. In China, the Suatao Type 55A Shantel class gunboat was developed on the Project 183 hull, removing the torpedoes and replacing the 25mm with single mount 37mm cannons. The Project 183 is a fairly large vessel with slightly better seagoing ability than previous torpedo boats, though still based on the classic motor torpedo layout with a small cabin amidships, the engines at the stern, and the torpedo tubes placed on either side of the cabin. Two gun turrets were fitted, one fore of the bridge and the other aft. After gaining valuable experience using Lend-Lease models such as the Higgins, the hull was made of a treated plywood sandwich to decrease costs. A retractable radar mast was fitted for navigation and surface search. The Project 183 is fitted with two 533mm torpedo tubes firing World War II era straight running torpedoes. There are also simple side mounted racks for up to 12 depth charges. The turrets are fitted with two M-3 weapon systems. Each locally controlled open roof mount is fitted with two 110pm autocannons, with one positioned above the other. The 110-pm autocannon fires powerful 25 times 218mm rounds at a cyclic rate of 450 rounds per minute. The 25mm rounds have a range of 2.5 kilometers and may reach an altitude of up to 1.7 kilometers. Since the weapons are manually aimed, they are of limited use against fast moving fighter aircraft. The 2M 3 was developed shortly after World War II to arm various smaller combat ships, submarines, and civilian ships supporting the Navy. Exclusive to the Navy, it is not seen or fitted to any air force or land based vehicles. The P-6 is one of the most produced military vehicles in the world, totaling over 600 ships. Large quantities were used by the USSR Navy and exported to various allies, with North Korea and China also producing them under license. With the introduction of missile-armed attack craft, the motor torpedo boat became obsolete and most were scrapped in the 1970s and 80s. Only Egypt has a number of modified vehicles in active use today. In War Thunder, the Project 183 sits at Battle Rating 3.3, Rank 4. So every game you play, you will be versing larger ships than yourself. This is a good place to learn the fundamentals of the higher tier coastal boats, and it'll also give you a taste of what you'll get to enjoy from that line. It's got high powered weaponry, depth charges and torpedoes. In this clip is an example of what to do if you're attacked by a PT boat at close range in a large warship. This is the singular used for depth charge launchers on the side of a destroyer or submarine chaser. It's important to note that once you do start fighting destroyers, you do need to use every single weapon available to you. You also need to set the depth of your torpedoes depending on the targets that you're chasing. If you plan on chasing destroyers and cruisers, then set it to 4 meters. If you plan on fighting coastal boats, set it to 1 meter. The 25mm guns on the boat are perfect for attacking lightly armed destroyers at less than 1 km. But you do need to be mindful to bring in the armor piercing belts before the match. As a rule of thumb, I always use armor piercing belts on my PT boats. It does cause less damage to coastals as they pass through, but I find that this trade off is beneficial when fighting destroyers. You just need to make sure that you're picking on distracted targets only and you shelter yourself from the enemy's line of sight. If you spray all the crew modules, the turrets, and just beneath the bridge in the radio room, you can do significant crew damage. You also need to get used to being quite daring because you only have two torpedoes on the ship. You do need to make quite good use of the depth charges. 
In most cases, you only need one to three depth charges to kill a destroyer, but I always like to drop a spread just to make my presence known. Hope you've enjoyed this. Leave a like. Command Material out.